Standing underneath the lights Look into each other's eyes Tired snowflakes are coming down Collapse into water when they hit the ground I hear the sound of empty streets Yesterday has gone asleep Today I am starting off my morning at, I don't know if I'd call it the gym, at the community center. I'm just going to go and walk because I have tried, as I've gotten Ashley ready for school and gotten things done around the house, laundry, dishes, all that kind of stuff, kind of straightened up, do my normal morning routine. As I have gone about doing that, um, knowing I wanted to hop on the treadmill and work and edit yesterday's video, my stupid external drive just does not want to stay turned on. It has turned off twice and it takes about 20 minutes to turn back on. And I, or more, you never know. So I gave up. I really need to walk. I need to get some steps in. I may be able to get on the treadmill when I get home and do some editing when I get home, but I don't want to chance it. I'm gonna go over there and get it out. I don't want to chance it because if I don't get this done now, oof, lighting is horrible. I won't do it. If I don't get walking right now in my morning, it's just not gonna get done. And I will sit down with a book or my phone and I just won't get it done just trying to be motivated. I think I'm actually going to get hungry. So I have a granola bar with me. I'm going to probably put it with my water and my jacket once I get in there. They have like little cubbies where I can put my stuff. Um, anyway, just trying to I gained weight over the weekend, but I don't think it's anything to worry about. I just think that, you know, I didn't walk over the weekend and, uh, a chips over the weekend <laughs> so we're gonna go inside so I'm gonna put you away I think because I don't want to keep track of it my hair is awful yeah I'm not gonna take you guys with me <laughs> I'm just gonna go and focus on walking so we'll be right back well that little trip to the community center was meant to be because I ran into my two great friends they go walking together every day, but I don't like walking outside. <laughs> and uh, anyway, it's who we play games with, two of the three ladies that we play games with every Saturday. And they just happened to walk in about, I don't even know, they walked in when I was at about 5,000 steps. I was halfway done with what I wanted to do. And I was like, hallelujah, you guys can get me through the other half of my steps. So that was great. We all just talked and vented and, you know, it was great fun and uh, helped me get to 10,000, but then my hips were a little sore and I know I still have things to do and things to walk around and do. So I know I'll get another two or 3,000 steps in today so I can call it good with 10,000. So I'm going to head home, take a shower, and I have an ultrasound scan to go to. And I just got scheduled another one that is three hours long and that one will pay that one will pay a lot. That one will be really good. So, right, I'm going to clean up a bit, getting ready to go do this scan. Been on Marco Polo with my sister for the past half hour. Or so, as I was getting kind of cleaned up and ready to go. And uh, love you, Andy. If you ever watch this video, her life is so busy, she doesn't have time to watch. Um, but the January blues are real, life struggles are real. Um, our own personal struggles are real. And if you know someone who's going through a life struggle, allow them to and have some compassion for them. I think we expect people to like have the same struggles as us and deal with it the same way, but we don't and we can't. We can't know how someone's actually feeling and we can't tell them how they should go through their struggles. Just be there to like, support them. Um, talked about that at church on 
Sunday last week, I think, about grief. Sorry, I'm putting on my... You can't tell someone else how to go through grief. You can't, like, expect them to be done with all the steps in your time frame. You have to allow them to go through it and just be there to support them. Anyway, just had a good but hard conversation with her. Actually, she's probably responding to my Marco Polo right now, and I'll listen to it in the car. But um, anyway, my stupid computer is just barely turning back on. So I haven't even had a chance to edit. Oh, it's cold. My toes are so cold. Sorry, this is like kind of a boring, I always deem it as kind of boring, but then I watch videos of people, like bloggers or whatever, and when they do days like this where it's just real life, I enjoy it more. And I know from your comments that you like that I'm being real. So sometimes my real is boring. And that's what I'm bringing you sometimes. Not all activities and hoopla and all that kind of stuff. Jason and I had an idea. I'll have to bring it to you guys sometime soon. But I'll do a different video about it. Maybe I'll do it today. I don't know. I haven't decided yet. All right. I've been working on the computer. It's finally working. Edited two videos so far. You're doing good? You're going to eat while I'm gone? And she's working on her latest, biggest perler bead creation, right? I won't even fit in the container. I need it. <laughs> That's okay. Okay. I'm going to go, okay? I have to take Chelsea to the church. Her activity... Everyone else has been doing their own thing tonight. We'll say hi to the man of the house, the one I'm loyal to. What? <laughs> the one I'm loyal to. I said, welcome to the man, the one I'm loyal to. <laughs> well, I'm thankful you are. <laughs> um, Charles! We gotta go! Take her while I sit there. I'm gonna drink my water. I've already had dinner and a snack, so I should not have any more tonight. Don't worry, I made my dinner. This is why you need a second wife. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually, that is, well, we won't get into that. Yeah. <laughs> Can you open that for me, please? I need three wives to make money so that I can get exactly with my one wife. I need three more wives to make us that's money. Right, that's yeah. right. Yeah, you'll be my my Robin. What do they call it? The bottom bay. I'll be the Robin to your Cody. <laughs> I want to be Cody. <laughs> I know. <laughs> Anyhow, if you if you understand, you understand. Um but anyway, I'm gonna head Chelsea really we have to go, honey. Okay. Alright, well Abby's up doing her nails, so she doesn't want to go to her activity tonight. Um, so, we're just going to do the other kids and, um, well, just Chelsea, I mean. All right. It is the next morning. I did not um, film the rest of my evening. Um, but why do I have a sock on my hand? Also, this isn't the shirt I wore to bed. I just had to put it on because I literally just, I just woke up. I haven't pulled my hair up, I haven't done it, I haven't done anything. But why, <laughs> why do I have a sock on my hand? Last night, I literally haven't taken this off since last night. Last night, probably around one or two in the morning, ugh, my hand and all of, look at the red. Can you see all the red on my fingernail cuticles? They were so itchy. And I started doing a little bit more research about like why they're why it's so infected and I've been doing cuticle oil so many times during the day and then adding like good lotion like I have I have the Vaseline cream downstairs and then I have this Lubridrum that I put on um, at night and in the morning Sometimes if I come up here, if I'm showered or whatever, then I put it on again. So two or three times a day I use the Lubriderm. I have like cuticle damage from acetone is my, you know, Google doctor diagnosis, self-diagnosis um, from acetone overuse. 
Um, anyway, I my hand itched so bad last night. I could not handle it. And so I, I got back up and I put more cuticle, I mean, I doused my hand in the cuticle oil. I put lotion on like three or four times and just made sure my hand was like soaking wet in lotion, like soaking wet. And then I put the, the sock on it. Online it said to use a glove and I was just like, it's two in the morning at this point. So I just put a sock over my hand and it was like almost instant relief. It was crazy. Um, I mean, they are raw this morning because I itched them bad last night. I could not stop itching them. So, I don't know. It's fine to have the nail on it still. Like, I'm gonna give my hand a break and not do dip nails for a little while. But now I'm scared to like take the dip off because I need to use acetone to take it off. And I looked up some remedies uh, non-acetone removal remedies. Um, uh, it just sounds like it's gonna take forever. Lemon juice and vinegar and baking soda. I don't even know what it was. Obviously, I'll look it up if I'm gonna go that route, but I need my hands to feel better. It's the worst they've felt. And I don't know if it's just because I didn't put the oil on right before I went to bed, but it was awful. So. Now I need to rush and get Ashley ready for the bus. Um, I slept fine as soon as I did that last night, but I'm still tired because I only got like, when my alarm went off at eight, which was like 20 minutes ago, 26 minutes ago. But I woke up at like seven when Jason got up to go to work. So if I went to bed at three, I got a lovely four hours of sleep. So, fantastic for me. Anyway, I'm gonna leave that with you guys. Um, I just didn't wanna start my day and a video that way, so I'll just end yesterday's. <laughs> that way, I don't know if I'm gonna film today or not, just cause, anyway, I don't know. You'll find out. But, um, if you have any other suggestions of what I can do, I literally, this Pacifica oil cuticle oil is really really good I really like it and it does feel good when I put it on I guess I'm just gonna be wearing a sock to bed for the next week um, I might even put it on during the day when I'm just kind of sitting there I might just read a book today let my hands um, take a break or whatever but man and I don't know why it only affected one hand this one is completely fine I mean they used acetone on this hand every time and it's not there's nothing it's totally fine I, I just don't get it but now I can't get these ones taken off I don't think it's the nail itself I think it's it's strictly the acetone overuse and my hands have I've never gone this long like redoing my nails over and over so it kind of makes sense as I kind of looked it up overuse of acetone can really dry out your hands I just don't know why it only did the one. So, anyway, if you have any suggestions for me, and I'm not gonna go to the doctor, they're just gonna be like, put some oil on it, put some lotion on it, you know. So, anyway, if you have any suggestions, let me know. Um, you've already been helpful so far in letting me know to get the cuticle oil. So hopefully, oh, hopefully I'll be able to get it cleared up. But anyway, take care, and we'll see you guys next time. I tell you, I bring it real, right? I'm bringing it real. <laughs> this is as real and raw as it gets, I guess. This is why I don't like my normal hair color because it just looks like it's greasy and it literally is perfectly clean hair. I washed it yesterday afternoon at one o'clock and it looks like I haven't washed it in a week. But that's just because my normal hair color up here is so, ugh compared to like my highlight grow out down here. It's fantastic. Take care. Bye. Easy, easy on our tiptoe.